okay students today we shall discuss about the structure morphological features salient other salient features of large intestine large intestine is the last part of our gi tract and it is the largest portion in diameter the total length of the large intestine total length large intestine the length first very important question is what is the length of the large intestine large intestine lay the 5.5 feet to 6 feet this is the and diameter it is the length and diameter diameter 9 centimeter in some portion and 5 to 6 centimeter in some portion that is the last part of our GI tract and the length is 5.5 to 6 feet and diameter is 9 centimeter in some case and 5.5 to 6 centimeter in some portion. Let us draw the structure of the large intestine. Large intestine is situated at the abdominal zone. This is a portion. This is several term. This is a this is called cecum. This is called cecum. The this part is called ascending colon. This is called ascending colon. Then we draw the a structure some hanging structure this is the transverse color and some saccules is observed in the color this is the transverse color then descending colon then s sepid sigmoid colon this is s sepid sigmoid colon then the rectum and last part is called the anal canal this is the rectum and yeah, anal canal by anus this is the structure molar structure of our large intestine large intestine also some it is a retroperitoneal some part is retroperitoneal and some part is anteroperitoneal. Retroperitoneal means it is attached with the dorsal side of the body and no peritoneal membrane attached with some portion and some portion it is attached with peritoneum. This is called the anteroperitoneum and the retroperitoneal portion. So, what are the parts of the large intestine? There are several parts. There is the cecum. One part is cecum. Second part is ascending colon. Third part is transverse colon. Fourth part is descending colon. Five part is sigmoid colon. And sixth part is rectum. Six. There are six parts of our large intestine some salient features large intestine some salient features of some large intestine that is the longitudinal muscles three band of longitudinal muscles are found in the large intestine it is the one band this band is called the tinea coli 
tinia coli tinia coli tinia coli what is tinia coli tinia coli is a longitudinal muscular band present in large intestine how many numbers of tinea coli present in large intestine three three joint is the dorsal side and two lateral side longitudinal longitudinally present three bundles of longitudinal muscle fibers this is called tinea coli some fatty yellowish fatty pouch develop from the tinea coli yellowish colored fatty pouch colors fatty pouch develop tinea coli this fatty yellowish protrusion is called epiploic appendages these two morphological salient features of large intestine one is tinea coli and second is epiploic appendages and the tinea what is the function of the tinea coli tinea coli acts as a girder which hold the total 6 5.6 feet to 6 feet large intestine into a 4 feet length that is why some saccules like structure develop in the transverse colon just like other gi tract the internal portion is the mucus this this zone column made by columnar epithelium but in the anal region but in the anal region this columnar epithelium simple columnar epithelium is replaced by some strat stratified squam stratified epithelium Due, and this and some circular muscles also present and these muscles helps evacuate our fecal matter the cecum here another another post question arise in exam cecum in the cecum two attachment one is attachment with small intestine here ileocecal valve is present ileocecal valve cecal valve is present ileocecal valve is the valve that regulate the entry of digested particles into the cecum of the large intestine ileocecal valve it is a opening between it is a girder between large intestine cecum and the small intestine another very important structure is is called appendix appendix where appendix is present appendix is situated at the portion of cecum what is the function of appendix appendix is a appendix is a lymphoid structure appendix is a lymphoid structure it is a gut associated lymphoid tissue galt it is a gut associated lymphoid tissue appendix is a very rudimentary in nature it is very rudimentary in nature so this is our total external salient features of our large intestine now we shall discuss about the function of the large intestine now we shall discuss about the function of the large intestine first function of the large intestine is the formation of fecal matter first function is formation of fecal matter fecal matter formation what is fecal matter fecal matter is the undigested food particles and these food particles in this zone the some amounts of salt and water are absorbed by the large intestine and the hard material present this hard material ultimately accumulate in the rectum and when this amount of the hard material fecal matter is 
excessively high in amount then a pressure originate through this pressure the content of the large intestine evacuated this is the for uh, evacuation process defecation another term of the evacuation process called the defecation what is defecation defecation is the process by which the fecal matter is expelled out from our body through anal canal fecal matter first function is the formation of the fecal matter second function is the absorption of water absorption of water and salt by the mucosal inner lining of the large intestine absorb the water and some amount of salt total zone that is the ascending transverse descending and sigmoid sigmoid means this is the s shaped in structure what is the s shaped structure of our colon is called the sigmoid colon this is the sigmoid colon and total in inside of the colon several bacteria present these bacteria fermented our complex polysaccharide fibers dietary fibers and these complex fiber, uh, complex carbohydrate are fermented by microbiota and they convert into some amounts of fatty fatty substances production of some fatty some fatty substances it is nothing but the production of the microbacterial activity that acts on the cellulose fiber present in the fecal matter this is the no any type of digestion does not take place only some amount of water absorption is taken place here some disease let's we discuss about the disease one of the disease very important that is noted in our um, ncert book this is called the constipation constipation what is constipation constipation is the hardening of the stool stool is the fecal matter when the fecal matter is graduated is very hard became very hard due to the excessive absorption of water and less amount of the lubricating substance that is the mucus when the mucus secretion is very low and the diet contains heavy very amount huge amount of protein and fat then they our fecal matter gradually harden and this hardened fecal matter cause our constipation that is the difficulty arise during the defecation process this is called the constipation other different kind one of the most important disease that is the appendicitis appendix what is appendix appendix is a lymphoid organ largest lymphoid organ in our gi tract it is a huge amount of lymphoid tissue contains huge amount of lymphoid tissue this is a garden of lymphoid tissue when this appendix is infected by some harmful microbiota then the appendix infection takes place here and a very pain a acute pain develop in our lower abdomen okay students this is the more or less salient features of large intestine and the function of the large intestine in our in my latter class i shall discuss about the blood now next chapter the circulatory system of human body then we shall here there we shall discuss about the formed element the plasma constituents the our um, blood group blood clotting and other mechanisms